how to superimpose with a 16 millimeter Bolex movie camera. The first thing you do is you have your camera loaded and um, you zero your counters because you want to know where the shot began because you're going to have to wind back to that. So these two knobs allow you to turn that counter in the upper uh, right hand uh, to zero. So you set that at zero or wherever you need to and um, you don't change this counter, that measures the footage. So that can't be changed, you measure the upper right one. Then you film your first shot. I prefer to shoot something with a fair amount of dark areas in it, so uh, the superimposed images have some place to go. Uh, if you superimpose things that are too bright, uh, then one image is hard to see over the other. You, you shoot the first shot, and then you can see there how many frames it was. It was 100 and something frames on this little shot. And then you have to stop the light from coming in as you wind your camera backwards. So you close the shutter with that one, and then this one closes the viewfinder so that no light comes in the viewfinder or through the lens. Alternatively, you could put a lens cap on that lens. Now you turn off the motor by turning that switch to the downward position. And in, the, in this order, you must, uh, after the motor's off, turn this running switch into the M position. Then you take the rewind crank that you should have along with the Bolex and you put it into this slot. It's got a little arrow beside it so you can see which direction to go. So um, the arrow is telling you to wind the camera backwards. It's kind of a two-hand operation. You need to hold the camera and uh, sometimes the the uh, crank slips out of position but you can just uh, put it back and re rewind it until that counter is back to zero. Remove the crank, put it away safely and now in this order um, you must turn off this running switch. If you do this in the wrong order, you'll, your camera will start running uh, out of control. So then you um, turn your motor back on and uh, reverse all of your other things too. Um, turn your viewfinder back on, open your shutter back up again with this switch. If that switch isn't open, you will see a, a triangle inside your viewfinder. And now you shoot your second shot, uh, which, which will superimpose on top of your first one. And that's all there is to it.